Hello everyone, we are group DES in class e-commerce from Foreign Trade University and today it is our honor to give you a summary of Chapter 6, E-commerce Marketing and Advertising. About our group DES, we have 5 members, Anh Phương, Khắc Đức, Hiền Thảo, Tuấn Cường, Minh Châu. About our content, the chapter includes 4 main parts. The first is consumer online, the internet audience, and the consumer behavior. The second is digital commerce, marketing, and advertising strategy and tools. The third is internet marketing technologies. And the last one is the costs and benefits of online marketing communications. And we would like to present some interesting findings from its part. So now, let's get started. Let's get started with the first part of our presentation, the consumer decision process and online supporting communication, which belong to the part 6.1, consumer online, the internet audience and consumer behavior of chapter 6. As you can see on the screen, there are five stages in the consumer decision process and how online marketing communication supports this process and seek to influence the consumer before, during, and after the purchase decision. Now, let's move to the first part, awareness or needs recognition. It starts when a consumer realizes a need due to internal stimuli like physiological or emotional needs and external stimuli uh, from an advertisement. Online marketing communications support this stage by using targeted display ads, email ads, and social media. For example, people use social media to run targeted display ads. In this case, it used Facebook to advertise a shoe brand called Dilly to female users. The next stage is search for information or research. This stage depends on how much customer already knows about the solution available and the complexity of choices. Customers search for information by using internal information, for example, their previous knowledge of a product or brand and external information about a product from fans or review, etc. Online marketing communication can use, for example, search engine site visits to support this stage. For example, if a customer wants to buy some accessories, they will use popular search engines like Google and also visit some sites for further information. For example, is canadentailor.com. The third stage of this process is evaluation of alternatives or consideration. Consumers make purchase decisions based on which best available option and to minimize the risk of investing poorly. Their evaluation is influenced by two major characteristics. The first is objective, or known as features, functionality, price, and ease of use. The second is subjective or feelings about a brand. For example, a customer, when they decide to buy a colored pencil case on Shopee, they will based on the product reviews and user evaluation in the past. The fourth stage is purchasing decision or conversion. This is a stage when customer have decided where and what they want to buy and are ready to pull out their credit cards. Online marketing communication can provide customer with online promotion, customer email, discount and flash sale. As you can see on the screen, the toothpaste brand called YY offer the flash sale and the brand Flower Notes offer discount with its makeup item for the customer. 
last but not least, the post-purchase evaluation or the repurchase. Consumers often reflect on their recent purchase. They think about how they feel about it, if it's a good investment, and more importantly, if they will return to the brand for future purchase and recommend the brand to friends and family. Online marketing communication can yield consumer post-purchase email like thank you letter to stay connected with customer. In the next part, I would like to talk about the digital e-commerce marketing and advertising strategy and tools. There are three trends of marketing in e-com that we already studied from 2017. But now, when this trend is still the lead of marketing trend in Vietnam e-commerce market, it is social, mobile, and local. These three trends have their effect in the market and will continuously be the trend for the future. Let's take a look at each. The first one is social marketing. Social marketing and advertising involve the use of online social network and communities to build brands and drive sales revenue. There are several kinds of social networks from Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram to social apps, social games, blogs, and forums. And we cannot deny the role that social media plays on e-commerce is increase the huge audience, better sale, and offer as services directly. Example of social will be the chain for the future is blog. Blog is more personal, personalized, increased deep relationship, and easier to become viral. In game, it increased interaction with customer, encourages the action and happy emotion when playing games. The second trend is mobile. Mobile marketing includes the use of display ad, rich media, videos, game, email, text messaging, e-store messaging, uh, QR codes, and coupon. We all know that about 210 million people access the internet, at least some of the time from mobile device, and it will in still incredibly increase because of the convenience of mobile apps. That's now happened also in other industries like banking or real estate. Example for this is Momo. Momo payment. As we can see, Momo have Momo chat for messaging, text messaging, games like Game Helded or Game Saving for. Or they have display yes. And also QR code for Momo. Oh in the mobile app. This is so really convenient. And the last one is the local marketing. Local marketing is based on the target group of customer. It is geography based on psychology, behavior, or interest. The most common local marketing tools. We can say that this is geo-targeting using Google Maps. And display us in hyperlocal publication like those created by daily deals or couples. We can see the example of Bayman strategy in 2021. They use local marketing in each district to make the marketing campaign for their e-commerce business. Quán ngon quận mình, Bayman strategy not only bring them the huge when it's the food lover communities, but also a huge revenue. And that's the end of my part. Hi, I'm Doug, and I will show you how campaign become viral. In April 2013, Unilever, with its ad agency Ojuvi and Mother, the most creative agency in the world in Brazil, we came out with dope real beauty sketches campaign to empower women about how they look. The 
a campaign was a short film featuring an FBI trained sketch artist, Ju Jamora. He was shown sketching two portraits of women based on the description given by them and how they were perceived by strangers. Neither did the artist, him, the artist himself look at the appearance of the woman, nor the woman, nor were the woman aware of the social experiment. The portraits were then placed side by side, and notable differences were found between them. The portraits based on strangers' description were more attractive than portraits based on their self description. The message were that the campaign aimed to convey were you are more beautiful than you think. Below the video of Joe Beauty's Cash's campaign, the video were viewed more than 114 million times in the first month itself and were uploaded in 25 languages to 33 of those YouTube channels to reach consumers in 110 countries. According to visible measures, the real beauty sketches were the most watched internet video in 2013. The campaign didn't target get dope product, but instead focusing on changing a woman's perception of how she sees herself. Also changing the way how dope is viewed as a company. Is it said that women's age between 13 to 35 were twice as likely to think highly of the brand that made up empowering and nearly 80% more likely to like, share, and comment, and subscribe after watching on through the video. Don't want to, to make women realize that they are over critical to themselves to make them feel better about their appearance. About the key takeaway from the campaign. The first one, the Real Beauty Sketch campaign proved that marketing your company doesn't only include promoting your products and service. Instead, consumers get attracted toward a brand that refers in its culture. The second, the campaign become viral because it could connect the audience emotionally. People could relate the concept of video, the idea was original, and the content were exciting with their pushing the product. And the ad encouraged social conversation and the sensitivity around the beauty of women. It empowered the women, evoking feelings of warmth, joy, and confidence. The third, when you start your marketing campaign, is it cruel, crucial to create the best possible content to differentiate your brand, involving cus customers in, the, in your campaign and providing them a platform for discussion in an invaluable way to develop customer relationship. The fourth thing and the final thing, drove monitors the campaign in real time, responded to the conversations and optimized its activities for better engagement and market penetration. Ensuring the video were seen by the right people is crucial for you to track the result of the campaign. In the third part, Internet Marketing Technologies, I would like to tell you about Hadoop and the challenge of big data. First of all, let's take a look at big data and the challenge of big data. About the definition, the term big data refers to the avalanche of digital data that create huge data sets, often from different sorts in the rain. However, the challenge is the volume of data are so large that traditional DBMS cannot capture, store, and analyze the data in a reasonable time. For example, we have to analyze 100 million emails in order to place appropriate ads alongside the email message, or 500 million call detail records just to find 
portent of fraud and churn. Moreover, marketers are interested in big data because it allows them to link huge amounts of data from a variety of different sorts and mine it for portent of consumer behavior with the potential to provide new insight into customer behavior, financial market activities, or other phenomena. However, a recent survey found that while marketers say big data is their biggest opportunity, only 14% are confident in their use of big data. In order to handle unstruct, semi struct and struct data in vast quantities, organizations need new technologies and analytic tools capable of managing and analyzing. And the technology solution is Hadoop. Hadoop is an open source software framework managed by the Apache Software Foundation that enables distributed parallel processing of a huge amount of data across inexpensive computers. So, how do it solve the problem? First, it breaks big data problem down into sub problems and then it distributes them among up to thousands of inexpensive computer processing nodes and then combines the result into smaller data sets that is easier to analyze. Hadoop can process large quality of any kind of data and is run on a cluster of inexpensive servers and processor can be added or removed as needed. Companies use Hadoop to analyze very large volume of data as well as for a staging area for unstructured and semi-unstructured data before it is loaded into data warehouse. For example, Facebook stores much of its data on its massive Hadoop cluster which holds an estimated 300 petabytes Yahoo is Hadoop to track user behavior, so it can modify its whole page to fit user interests. Hello everyone, I will show you the cost and benefits of online marketing communication. First of all, I will show you how well does online marketing work. The most effective type of online marketing work depends on what you measure. It may be click to rest or return on investment click to rest measure the percentage of email recipient who click through the offer it sounds very interesting to measure the effectiveness of online marketing because it helps us see the attractiveness of the advertisement to other people however it cannot show how many products are sold through the advertisement and how much money the company received from that advertisement. So, the measurement of effectiveness of online advertising normally is return on investment. Return on investment is a performance measure used to evaluate the efficiency or profitability of an investment or compare the efficiency of a number of different investments, ROI tries to directly measure the amount of return on a particular investment related to the investment cost. Looking at this measurement, we can see clearly how effective of the online advertisement marketing executives will spend more on digital as its ability to measure ROI improved. Next, I will show you the cost of online advertising. In general, it depends on cost per thousand, cost per click, cost per action, or combining of two or more of these models. On the slide, you can see the price list of traditional advertising and online advertising. It is very clear that traditional advertising is far more expensive than online advertising. For example, in 2016, the cost for
for 30 seconds of commercial time during a prime time network television broadcast is more than $100,000, not including the cost to produce the advertisement. According to Nelson, such an advertisement has an average CPM of only $24. You can see that online marketing is much more cost effective. The final part is software for measuring online marketing results. Online marketing can be easier and more effective than traditional marketing in analyzing the customer's behavior because there are many software programs and tools to automatically calculate and track activities of customers. Marketing analytic packages can tell business managers how people become aware of their site and where they come from. It helps business managers optimize the return on investment on their marketing efforts and understand customers' behavior. There are some famous automatic tools for online marketing such as Megalistic, Google Analytics, X Mixed Panel. In conclusion, it is very clear that online marketing is cheaper and more effective than traditional marketing. That's the end of our presentation. We hope that you have enjoyed the video and please support us in our upcoming products. See you soon!